everyone and welcome back for part three of our little series on why Pilates is so awesome for people suffering from back pain or if you want to prevent it in the first place. So you already learned about how your deep muscles and your superficial muscles work together and how they should work together to really create some great stability and the why and how. In the last session you've learned why positioning your pelvis in a certain way during your exercise will really make a huge difference on the results that you can get from your exercise. And today I want to talk to you about how important the right way of breathing is during your exercise. When you breathe out, your diaphragm lifts to push the air out of your lungs. With the lift of the diaphragm, your pelvic floor lifts and protects your inner organs and your deep abdominals switch on with that lift of the pelvic floor somewhat by themselves. So when we activate our abdominals, it's very important that you exhale because otherwise if you inhale you increase the pressure on your pelvic floor and you decrease the work of your abdominals. Now in some other exercises it's important however that we inhale because on inhalation the fascia around the back and pelvis tighten up and protect the spine and as you might be well aware your discs and your spine often especially when you're not as strong as you could be doesn't like twisting so on some exercise that involve twisting it's very important to actually breathe in with your exercise to protect your spine i've been teaching pilates now for well over 20 years and people come to me and they say, well, I just breathe the wrong way. I just can't get it right. To be quite honest, the breathing and the right breathing is so crucial that we take such due care of our clients here um, and make sure that they truly understand that it's something that they do have to get right. Because if they do get it right, they are able to actually protect themselves and therefore work at a much higher level and achieve much quicker results from the same exercise. The knowledge that you have gained over the last three days should help you to make sure that you can work out safer and more effectively. But it also should help you to find the right people to help you in that process. Not all Pilates classes are the same and hopefully this has given you some idea what to look out for. Or if you're currently doing Pilates and you feel like your instructor is not looking after you with those principles, then it might be time for a change. No matter what your reason was for watching this, I hope you've been finding this is beneficial to you. I hope you've been finding it educational and that you learned just even one thing and that would make me very happy. And I'm looking forward to maybe educating you on something else some other time. So if there's something that you want to comment on, that you have questions about or that you want to approach me for, just send me an email and I would be just too happy to answer.